Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this episode, I will be discussing how to control coccidiosis without the use of medication in poultry. Coccidiosis, as we all know, is a major challenge for poultry farmers, most especially broilers and layers, and when it comes to the rainy season period. And controlling coccidiosis in poultry without medic medication it requires a combination of um, different approaches and I'm going to um, list them in different steps. First and foremost, you have to consider biosecurity. Secondly, you have to consider the management practices that you are um, going to take. Then you have to use natural preventive uh, measures. All this I will talk about in this video. All you just have to do is watch till the end. First and foremost is how coccidiosis thrive in poultry is through wet litters. Litter materials act as insulator for poultry beds and if you can keep your litter materials dry and clean, coccidiosis will be far from them. If you can have a race platform whereby your beds will not defecate or pass at feces and they will not have direct contact with it, that is one of the best ways you can control coccidiosis. But if it's in a deep litter system, then you have to try as much as possible to keep the litters dry. Because coccidia parasites, they thrive in wet and dirty litters. Then you must also ensure to change the litter often, especially if it gets damp, because this is where the, the coccidia parasites thrive. You should try as much as possible to use absorbent um, bedding materials like wood shavings. The wood shavings is quite different from sodas. Though some people are against the fact that sodas is not too good for them. But if you don't have wood shavings, you can use um, sodas and you have to manage it very well so that they can absorb the moisture that come along with their feces. But this point is very important and a lot of farmers don't know about it but i will keep it for the last because it is very very important let's talk about biosecurity for you to control coccidiosis without using medication you must practice excellent biosecurity such that you have to limit visitors to your poultry area then you must also use food baths with disinfectant at every entry point this will help to reduce um, carriers like farm tools, um, footwears from carrying the eggs of the coccidia into your poultry farm. They are regularly clean and disinfect the poultry houses, the feeders and the drinkers. By so doing, you are on the pathway to um, eradicating coccidiosis from your farm. You should avoid raising beds in the same area continuously. Give a break. When you raise beds, you can allow the pain to rest for some couple of months before you create, before you brood another bed again. In this process, you are breaking the coccidia shin by allowing the place to rest to be dormant for a particular period of time. Now, the fourth point is to control your stocking density. If you can control your stocking density, you will have minimal um, exposure of your cheeks to coccidiosis so avoid overcrowding because when you when your pen is overcrowded it increases the rate of contamination and the humidity in the wood in the wood shavings become very high and this is how coccidiosis will now thrive when your beds when your pen is overstocked the, the wood shavings or the bedding material will not be able to absorb the moisture and dry up and dry it up easily. So in that case, you have wet litters. Then, secondly, you should give um, enough space per bed for let's say at least one to one point five square feet per bed, and this is uh, especially for those practicing deep litter system. But if it is in a cage system, you can increase your stocking density because one, they don't have direct contact with the feces because the feces, once they defecate, the feces will go down while the beds are still at the top. This is why I said that 
a battery cage system is the best system to raise your boilers or your poultry beds if you want to avoid coccidiosis. Then another factor which you have to consider is to use natural coccidiosis as a preventive measure. This can help to um, support the, natu the resistance naturally by adding some of some of um, these um, natural ingredients to either their feed or their water. For example, um, you can use garlic. Garlic boosts the immunity and has some parasite fighting effects. So what garlic do, it helps to build the gut of your, um, of your poultry beds. Then another um, organic uh, preventive measures that you can use is apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar helps to maintain a healthy gut and is very simple and very easy to get. But you should also make sure that if you are getting your apple cider vinegar, it should be that that contain the mother. When you go to the grocery or the shop to get the apple cider vinegar, look at it, you will see a kind of film or thick particle at the bottom. That is the mother and this is very very effective. So you can use one to two tablespoons per gallon of water. That is one to two tablespoons per liter of per, um, four liters of water. Then another um, organic um, you can use organic component you can use is aloe vera extract. This is very very effective to control coccidiosis naturally. Then another one is fermented feed. You see, this fermented feed is very very important, very very good for your beds as it helps to build their gut and prevent to boost and also to boost their um, immunity and prevent coccidiosis from affecting your beds. Now, the seventh point on how to manage your beds without the use of coccidiosis is to promote immunity with good nutrition feed is very important so it's not just you don't just feed your beds but give them feed that will um that contains all that they need to build the immunity and it must contain all the essential um vitamins such as vitamin a vitamin e and selenium it should also contain a um, minerals as well so this will help to boost the immunity the eighth point is to use coccidiosis resistant breeds if at all there is any in your locality there are some um, poultry beds that or there are some chicks that are breeded to have resistant high resistance to coccidiosis so when you get these beds they are not that coccidiosis will not affect them but they are they have higher resistance to coccidiosis Number nine is um, L detection and removal of sick bed. This is very important and you have to be very, very observant. Once you see any signs of any sickness, maybe um, bloody droppings, weakness, or you see ruffled feathers, immediately without thinking twice, remove that bed. And if you see any um, blood, bloody stool, just scoop that particular place or that particular wood shavings, just scoop it out and effect treatment immediately then the number 10 is to use vaccination for instance you have a, a vaccine called emucos that vaccine when you administer it to your bed you prevent them against coccidiosis all throughout their lifespan and in that case for those of you that want to use emucos vaccine when you administer it if you are changing your wood shavings you have to um, leave some of the wood shavings over that means if you, you don't change the wood shavings completely, you take some old ones and mix with the fresh one. By so doing, you are um, continuing the lifespan or the life cycle of the vaccine inside the letters. So this will help to prevent coccidiosis from affecting your beds. And um, I mentioned earlier that there is a very important point that I will talk about, which uh, most farmers don't really no, and this can help you to prevent coccidiosis on your farm. It's a natural product. Use uh, money to get it. You can even get it free of charge. And But before I'll tell you, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. Give this video a like, comment, and I want you to share so that others can benefit as well. Thanks. Now, the point I'm talking about is lime. 
Lime is very, very important and it acts as a conditioner to reduce the moisture and lower the pH. So you can get lime and spray it or mix it with the dry litter. And this acts as litter conditioner that helps to reduce the moisture and lower the pH. And this will help you to prevent coccidiosis naturally without the use of medication. Thanks. Please, like I said earlier, subscribe to help me to grow my channel and to reach a larger, a larger audience. See you in my next video. Peace out with love.